If we asked you to post the last unusual photo you took or the last weird video you filmed, would it be as strange as the ones you're about to see here today? Maybe. That's the great thing about having cameras on our phones and these devices always by our sides. We can capture everything. But these videos might say to some of us that not all things were meant to be filmed. Mommy, launch it out! Launch it out! Mommy, launch it out! Oh, are you ready? Okay. Some photos shouldn't be taken, and some of which cannot be unseen. You'll see what we mean. Here are 15 of these strangest things people caught on their phones. <laughs> Crazy Frog Known as Budget's Frog, Hippo Frog, or even the Freddy Krueger Frog, this frog has become a popular pet due to its comical flat appearance, but is known for its intelligence too. Reaching up to 4 inches in size, they appear to be all mouth. It takes up to one third of their total body and contains a top row of teeth and two fangs on the lower jaw. The cream colored eyes are set close together, high on the center of their head. On the round snout are two nostrils positioned in front and between the eyes. They have extremely short and stubbly limbs. With such short legs, they are not good swimmers. But Budget's frogs are highly intelligent and very aggressive. When frightened, they inflate themselves, stand up on their short legs, and if this doesn't deter the potential predator, they lunge at them with an open, huge mouth followed by a shrill shriek. During the dry season, Budget's frogs remain in burrows they dig in the bottoms of pools of water, where they will shed several layers of skin to form a waterproof cocoon that will keep the frog moist until the rainy season arrives. But unless you live in Paraguay, Argentina, or Bolivia in South America, your best chance of seeing a Budget's frog is at an exotic pet store. When a phone captures what no one was supposed to see, it's almost impossible not to want to get a closer look. But not this. Anything but this. At first glance, you see some sort of gangly, skeletal, unnaturally tall figure slinking out of the earth behind some unsuspecting human posing for a picture. You're immediately thinking that this will not end well, but then you get a closer look at this unsuspecting guy posing for the picture, and you notice his face. His blurry, distorted mug looks just as terrifying as the giant ghoul behind him. All this adds up to a lot to unpack. Maybe this is some sort of haunted burial ground for mutants, maybe it's a glitch in the matrix. But good thing it was captured on someone's phone to dissect later. Hopefully whoever filmed it made it out alive. We know one thing is for sure, is that we wouldn't be sticking around to see how the scenario played out. What about you? What would you do in this situation? And what do you have to say about it? Leave your comments below with the hashtag open discussion. Giant Mountain Goat no, it's not the same mythical creature come to life or some sort of deer on steroids. This muscular white creature is actually known as the Rocky Mountain Goat, a hoofed mammal endemic to mountainous areas of western North America, commonly seen on cliffs and ice. But seeing one of these goats so close to the road is quite a sight to see for anyone driving through the mountains where they live. While no details accompany the footage, this gigantic beast may be a resident of Glacier National Park. Mountain goats like this thrive here above the tree line and are a common sight for visitors. Typically, mountain goat males and females stand around 3 feet tall at the shoulder. This strutting muscular male, however, looks to be much closer to 4 feet tall, making him a truly impressive and rare sight. These goats, however, aren't actually goats at all. These mammals are actually much more closely related to antelope and gazelles than they are goats. Regardless, the mountain goat has become a symbol of its territory. But mountain goats are, by Glacier National Park classification, unpredictable. Visitors should keep a 50-foot distance from the animals at all times, as they have incredibly powerful legs and necks. Pop Star Malfunction Beloved pop star Katy Perry has given her fans endless amounts of entertainment since her meteoric rise to fame after she kissed a girl in 2008. That's a direct reference to her chart-topping song that brought her to the forefront of pop music back in the day. But it was her eye glitch during her gig in Las Vegas that got people talking most recently. See for yourself, the incident went viral after her eye seemingly twitched and got stuck blinking while she was in the middle of performing. It had many fans poke fun at the star's mechanical failure, while others quickly raised concern and wanted to check if the singer was okay. 
The hitmaker's glitch came as she struck a pose post-song. A member of the audience captured the incident in which Katie took a few seconds to get her eye to open properly again, before carrying on with the performance. And now Katie has confessed that the moment was indeed planned. Sharing a clip to social media, Katie revealed she did it to promote her Vegas residency, encouraging her fans to come to see her broken doll eye party trick in real time. The show's set list is a fun ride through memory lane going all the way back to 2008, and according to Katie, it's a non-stop party about finding unconditional love. Stalked by Orcas For whale-watching tour enthusiasts, boarding a boat with a group of people doesn't always guarantee you will spot whales. Kayaking regularly in whale territory, however, can make for some unforgettable run-ins with them. Off the coast of Washington's San Juan Islands, a kayaker filmed a once-in-a-lifetime encounter with a pod of whales. The pair were kayaking near the islands in late August, when dozens of orca whales, estimated to be around 30, began to surround their kayaks. They had no idea the whales were in the water so close by when they headed out. Found in every ocean on the planet, orcas are likely the most widely distributed mammals in the world, next to humans. They tend to live close to shore in large pods of about 10 to 20 individuals and feed primarily on fish. Known by some as wolves of the sea, orcas hunt in packs, using their numbers to herd prey into smaller isolated areas before attacking. An adult orca consumes an average of 500 pounds of food a day. But fortunately for these kayakers, people have never been on an orca's menu. In the wild, there have been no reliably verified fatal attacks on humans. This whale sighting so close up was simply great timing. Baby Glitch At first glance, this baby glitch video will make you think twice. Initially, you're thinking the baby-proof gate intended to keep little ones safe in the home will do just that. There's no way this toddler is getting past this gate. But suddenly, the baby glides through the bars effortlessly. One leg, then a shoulder, the head, freedom at last. When was the last time you crawled around your home on your hands and knees? As strange as it sounds, give it a go. Kids explore their everyday environment, so it's important to see things as they do to make sure your home is safe. And we can't overestimate just how savvy these babies can be. They will figure out ways to climb out of the crib, open cabinet doors, and even pass through a baby gate like it was nothing. We often think of babies and toddlers when we hear the words baby-proofing or child-proofing. And it's true that young kids have the highest risk of being injured at home because that's where they spend most of their time. But based on this video, we ask ourselves, do babies know more than we think? Is this proof there's a glitch in the baby matrix? Clearly, the most important safeguard for nervous parents is to watch young kids at all times. Even if your home is childproofed, it only takes an instant for something like this to think again. Superman lifts truck in an undisclosed location in a video labeled Man Lifts a Truck, we might be looking at a real phenomenon called superhuman strength. And not in the Superman kind of way, but in the humans can do amazing things kind of way. In an effort to make some room on a small road, this man literally lifts the rear of the truck and places it out of the way. Like he was lifting a light load. But clearly it's not. It's a truck. It is said that superhuman strength is the power to exert force and lift weights beyond what is physically possible for an ordinary human being. Humans are actively trying to achieve superhuman strength via technology and scientific experimentation. Athletes have turned to various methods to improve performance. Other technologies being researched are robotic exoskeletons to be worn by humans to enhance movement and strength. But is this truck lifter bionic? Probably not. Records describe instances of people going beyond normal strength in specific circumstances without taking any specific measures. Kinesiologists claim that extraordinary strength can occur when a person engages their muscles through the conscious exertion of will. You know what they say, where there's a will, there's a way. Vatican Ghost Everyone loves a good ghost story, especially when its authenticity might be supported by actual video footage. Take this ghostly figure spotted lurking on the edge of the bell tower at the Vatican in Italy. It's got fans of the paranormal scratching their heads. The Vatican houses some of the most beautiful Catholic churches in the world, filled with priceless artifacts tied to deeply held beliefs. But its echoing corridors and high vaulted ceilings may house more than just history. Perhaps restless spirits linger here too. The creepy clip was captured by a tourist waiting in line to enter the famous church in Rome. 
In this truly disturbing video, a tall black shadow can be seen standing motionless in front of the bells in the left-hand tower. Is the Vatican haunted? It's impossible to say for certain. There are whispers of Vatican ghost stories, though the city-state's officials seem vigilant about keeping those under wraps. Perhaps ghost stories from the Vatican are carefully covered up because any association with the occult is bad publicity. So even though spooky tales from the Vatican are common, they aren't talking about it. Thankfully, thanks to the rise of smartphones, tourists have begun documenting their own brushes with the paranormal in Italy. Pennsylvania UFOs Check out this unusual night footage of what appears to be approximately eight UFOs moving and changing formation above Pennsylvania State. Whether these are real flying saucers remains for you to decide. Pennsylvania ranks number seven among the states where people report the most UFO sightings, according to some websites. So there's that. Have you ever seen a UFO? If so, you're not alone. While extraterrestrial life and or visitations may be unexplained, people will still look at the stars to find answers. There are numerous types of visual phenomena, with the most popular being light. Light appears to make up over 27,000 of all the reports. Additional unnatural appearances include fireballs, discs, circles, etc. Residents all over the state report about it, writing small summaries of their UFO sightings, the area, data, and what shape it was. Some skeptics have suggested that these lights are passing planes or satellites. But these reports are for bright lights that don't make conventional sense given that we know about the weather and human technology. So far, more than 4,500 unidentified mysteries have been reported by Pennsylvania, which is about 35.3 occurrences for every 100,000 people. Camping Creature as you can see, these camping buddies have set up a little campsite with all the fixings, a camper, some tents, and some folding chairs. No doubt there are some coolers nearby full of hot dogs to roast on a fire and cold beverages on ice waiting to be consumed. This is what a good camp out is all about. Until this happens. Out of nowhere, almost, a strange creature was spotted near where these people were camping. Is it some kind of mammal or something else altogether? As you can see, it's hard to tell because it happened so quickly. And because the campers were so freaked out, maybe we should be too. They bolted immediately upon its discovery on top of the mobile camper. What do you think it was? It's not entirely impossible that something we've never seen before made its debut at this campsite, but most likely it's just an animal that these campers have never come face to face with, which would scare anybody. Even the mystery creature bolts at the same time as the humans did. Truth is, all it takes is one wrong move in the woods and you could have an unwanted guest at your campsite. Camping is fun, but it's important to remember that when we spend time in nature, we share our environment with wild animals. Defying Gravity There are many different kinds of viral videos on the internet, but we have to admit that our favorites are the clips that teach us something new. Case in point, this video of a girl pouring water out over the side of the Hoover Dam. This girl attempts to empty the water bottle, but instead of going down, the water simply floats back up. It certainly is a sight to see, and it has us scratching our heads. What's going on here? Interestingly enough, the answer is not as peculiar as you might think. It's all about the updraft. Spanning the Nevada and Arizona border along the Colorado River, the 726-foot-tall Hoover Dam acts as a wind tunnel of sorts against the atmospheric conditions that nestle up to Black Canyon. Because of this, the dam is essentially a barrier that can whip up winds that may be as high as 50 miles per hour. With all of that swirling pressure building down below, the flat and seemingly endless shape of the dam's face forces all the air to go up like a funnel for wind. This super powerful updraft affects pretty much everything that stands above the dam. So, we're sorry to disappoint you. The water from the girl's bottle isn't floating up into the air due to some sort of magic. It's just science. Look mom, an alligator. It's some eye-popping images that got everyone talking. Two little kids staring in wonder as a giant alligator ambled past the window. The kids got the shock of their lives when they spotted it crawling around their South Carolina lawn and then wandering through the neighborhood. The kids were playing outside when their mom first spotted the gator hiding in the bushes. Get inside, kids, and quick! South Carolina has an estimated 100,000 alligators, and the American alligator is the only species native to the southeastern U.S. state. 
The largest alligator caught in South Carolina weighed 1,025 pounds, 13 feet 6 inches. They're not the most attractive animals on the planet with their prehistoric lizard-like bodies and toothy grins. But alligators, it seems, have a following of fans to rival Hollywood stars. These menacing predators are the most popular wildlife attraction on the South Carolina coast. Everyone wants to see them, preferably from a safe distance. While often found lazily sunning themselves along ponds and lakes, alligators in the wild are best observed from afar. This family watched the beast from the safety of their living room window. As the gator moved on, mom hit the record button on her cell phone. Flooded tree. Why is this tree behaving like a cracked pipe than a sturdy tree? It's the last thing you'd expect to see when you're trying to chop down a tree. It's gushing water. The people on the scene are completely astounded. But is there a logical explanation? Turns out, yes, but it's not normal. If you ever see water leaking out of your tree, your tree is in fact sending out an SOS. It needs your help. There is a good chance your tree has a bacterial disease called wet wood, also known as slime flux. Here's what to look for. If your tree has missing bark, any wounds, or broken parts, this is where the disease enters the tree. Once inside the tree, the bacteria produces gas. The gas builds up and once the pressure becomes too much, a liquid pours out of the bark. It's not usually a little liquid either, as you can see. So it's probably a good idea the tree in this video is being cut down. Trees love water, whether from the sky, a watering can, or a hose. You should water new and old trees throughout the year. Like us, they need water to thrive and survive. However, look for signs and your trees will let you know if there's a problem. Although this disease can affect any tree, it attacks mostly maple, birch, oak, elm, and poplar trees. Floating Bird Video captured in Malaysia of a lifeless large bird floating in the sky recently went viral on social media. It seemed to have confused a lot of people because traffic is backed up and first responders were on the scene. Imagine how awkward that conversation with your boss would be when you call in to say, My apologies, but I'm going to be late, boss. I'm stuck in traffic because of a mysterious floating bird. That's when you forward your employer a video like this one, just so you have proof that the bird is creating quite a problem. According to viewers, people were stunned seeing the bird floating upwards in the sky without any rope stuck to it. And so, enforcements were called in. In the 30 second video on TikTok, firefighters can be seen standing on their fire engine attempting to retrieve the apparent lifeless bird using a long stick. However, it was later revealed by the local fire department that the bird was actually stuck on a kite string. Authorities confirmed it was an unlucky eagle that was stuck on a kite string. But thankfully, the bird managed to escape on its own and fly away, much to the relief of everyone on the scene. Jellyfish Invasion Seeing large numbers of jellyfish is unsettling, to say the least, especially in numbers like this in the city of Trieste, Italy. A port city on the Gulf of Trieste that borders Slovenia. Recent footage from the harbor in Trieste shows tens of thousands of huge jellyfish that have shown up and taken over the place. Collectively known as a smack, the mass jellyfish are among the largest jellyfish species in the Mediterranean. These creatures are known as barrel jellyfish, a large translucent jellyfish with a huge mushroom-shaped belly and a bunch of eight frilly tentacles below. However, the vacationing sea creatures weren't here to take in the sights around the town, but to search for plankton near the harbor's surface. A smack of jellyfish is not typically seen in town, but an unusual concurrence of winds and currents brought them in. Nevertheless, they were welcomed. But swimming is out of the question for now. We are observing a warming of the sea, and the increase in jellyfish may in part be an effect of this. Small changes in temperature that are not so important for us are important for these invertebrates. Another cause could be the Bora, a northeasterly wind that often blows strongly over Trieste and its gulf, moving the jellyfish towards the coast. Walking Tree Your eyes did not deceive you, a tree is walking. Where does this tree think it's going? This video from a town near Baltimore in Maryland has been turning heads ever since it went viral. In the distance behind this row of houses, there is some suspicious movement in the trees. It doesn't take long to notice that a tree or two starts moving around, almost like it's walking, even stumbling into the trees around it. Is it just us, or do the trees appear to walk here? They look to be having a good old time, almost dancing. The only tree known to actually walk lives in tropical Central and South America. 
By walking, we mean it travels, moving towards sunlight by growing roots in the direction it wants to travel, an inch or two per day. The old roots lift into the air and die, a process that takes a couple of years. But these trees are not South American palm trees. Although we still do not know why they were moving this way, it does make us wonder. Maybe there is some sort of crane or excavator we're not seeing hauling trees out in the area and some landscaping gone wild. Just get out of the way if you ever see trees do this. For now, we have this tree walking video as a reminder that if we don't film it, did it really even happen? This is only the beginning, folks. Since people are obsessed with their mobile devices, it's likely there will be more strange things people caught on their phones for us to delight in. So, like and subscribe if you can't get enough.